What is weaving? Weaving is a technique of making fabric from yarn. We come across thousands of fabric in our day-to-day -day life. There are many ways to make them. Most of us know knitting involves two needles and a continuous strand of yarn. A knitted fabric is a series of interlocked loops as is a crocheted fabric. In addition to looped fabric, there are those made by knotting and felting unspun fibers. Woven fabrics are the largest and the oldest category. Weaving has been known to mankind from the dawn of civilization. This is a demo kit. In this you see red and black thread alternatively arranged in perpendicular direction. We call this as warp. Now you see a needle with golden color thread exactly at 90 degrees is sewn up and down. We call this as weft. When one end is reached, again the thread is sewn in reverse direction. This process can be continued till a required length of fabric is made. Please see that each and every thread crossing is adjusted to get a uniform spacing of warp and weft. Needles can be used as long as threads are thick and spread at convenient gap. We use fabrics in our day-to-day -day life that are very thin and densely woven with fine yarns. It would be next to impossible to make a fabric by sewing. So far we made the fabric by making the weft go up and down on the warp with a needle. A simple technique can be used wherein warp can be made to go up and down and pass the weft through the yarns easily. This will eliminate sewing and we do not need the needle anymore. In the demo kit all the red and black yarns are tied at one end on a frame with nails. Let us call this as frame number 1. In the opposite side all the red yarns are tied to another frame. Let us call this as frame number 2. All the black yarns are tied to yet another frame. Let us call this as frame number 3. Keeping the frame number 1 as it is, frame number 2 and frame number 3 can be made to go up and down. When frame number 2 goes up, all the red yarns go up and black yarns go down. When frame number 3 goes up, all the black yarns go up and red yarns go down. We move frame number 3 up. This makes a convenient window. This window is termed as shed. Now the golden color thread can be passed from one end to other without needle. This is termed as shuddling. When one end is reached, all the thread crossings are adjusted for uniform spacing. This is called beating. Now frame number 2 can be moved up. This again makes a window with red color thread up and black color thread down. Again the gold color thread can be passed from one end to the other. Once again every thread crossing is adjusted for uniform spacing. This technique of making fabric by making weft yarn pass through a shed by moving warp yarn up and down is called weaving. This technique of making fabric has been existing 
from ancient times and no matter how sophisticated modern machines are, this core fundamental physics of weaving the fabric remains the same. With the demo kit, we made a short and loose fabric with uneven texture. A loom is a sophisticated version of the demo kit to make the continuous fabric with uniform texture by executing the steps in the sequence as shown in the flowchart. Making shed, shuttling and beading. This cycle is repeated till the fabric is woven. Let us get into the anatomy of a simple hand loom. This is the warp rod which is analogous to frame number one in our demo kit. These are heddles which is analogous to frame number two and frame number three of our demo kit. These are treadles. In the demo kit we moved frame number two and frame number three up and down with the hand. In a loom this is done with treadles. Treadle is similar to a bicycle pedal. This is attached to the heddle and alternatively operated with feet to make the heddles go up and down to make shed. This is a beater. Beater is used to space the warp and weft yarns after shuttling. With these simple parts, handloom becomes a wonderful machine. Movement of heddle, treadle, shuttle, hands, feet and eyes are perfectly orchestrated by human intelligence and dexterity to weave a fabric. The saying, being well prepared is problem as solved, is no more true than hand loom. In weaving, the fabric work on the loom is only 50% and the rest is required to make the warp and weft yarn. For a complicated design, this becomes a skilled job by itself. Many simple equipment are used for warp and weft preparation. This is a skin holder. This is a hand bobbin. This is a bobbin winder. This is a shuttle bobbin. This is a finger bobbin. This is a warping board. This is a shuttle. And this is a pickup stick.